Welcome back to GDs to another beautiful episode of Breach where I am slowly being choked out by the fact I am amazed by the fact that our run has been going as long as it even has. But hey, last episode we got a number of things. We managed to, well, we lost one of our last time travelers. Deceased Nicola Kirk, no! So we have gotten a couple of close victories and lost a couple of trains, but we did gain two reactor cores. So before we jump into any of these new maps and new areas to see exactly what they have in store for us, because we will be going to the restricted area to see what the seismic activity is all about. But before that, we do have two reactor cores. We can go ahead and install these on some of our mechs. Now, we do already have two reactor cores installed onto our artillery, which had allowed us to deploy a light tank that allows us to kind of just push enemies away. It kind of does like a little bit more damage, just pushes them away, it doesn't do any damage. But with that being said, I do not want the light tank anymore. It is not all that helpful. I thought maybe it would do damage, but we saw it doesn't do anything, just pushes the enemy away. Honestly, it's just not helpful. But what would be helpful, what would be amazing in this scenario is going to be probably just more damage overall, right? The artillery, you're going to need three power, needs three power to do that? Oh my god. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put one on buildings immune. So I no longer do any damage to buildings with my artillery, but it does push enemies away. And I will, I suppose, eh, let's put two health on the artillery. May as well. But we still have two leftover reactors. And for that, I kind of want to put them on my, on my uh, what do you call it? Just combat mech in general. Let's go ahead and install both reactors because we can go ahead and do something like this. Let's do one on, what's the hash do? Hang on, charge any distance before punching the target. Hang on, charge any distance before punching the target? The biggest thing that I can go ahead and dash up to an enemy and then punch him, right? That dash is my movement. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds super helpful, especially if they're up against like a hard surface. That is amazing. Let's go ahead and do the dash. It does take two energy, but that could be super helpful. Or, or, hear me out. We could even do, let's install it. We could do, no, that requires three power to do. Yeah, that requires three power. So it's it's not doing two damage per core. It is doing two damage for three cores. So let's go ahead and put that on the dash ability and see what that has for us as well. We did actually get a passive effect, uh, I think two episodes ago, which I did not realize that we actually had to install. The passive effect, if power grid is reduced to one, all buildings gain a shield. Now, some of you who are a little bit more aware of what's going on on screen, we are down to one in our power grid. So that is going to be extremely helpful that all of our buildings get at least one free shot on them. So, hey, let's take a look at what the next area is. We were going to take a look at the restricted area and see what seismic activity is all about. The vec took out this region's ground stabilizer. We're not sure what the result will be. Watch your step. Okay, defensive shields are active. They all got shields. Protect the coal plant. There's a coal plant there in the very back. Not too concerned about them getting up there. That seems pretty far away. So exactly where can we place our mechs as well? So the mechs, ooh, the enemies are probably going to be circling up this first building immediately. They're going to be doing a lot of damage to it. I'm going to go ahead and put my battle mech right there. I'm going to put my cannon cracked tile. Cracked tiles will turn into holes if damaged. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put that there. I'm going to go ahead and I guess put my artillery just a little bit close as well. Just so it kind of has a area to move around between both of the axes. And let's get started. The Rift Walkers. They're here. We're rescued. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't say that you're rescued just yet, little Timmy. I tell you, it, you might be into her uh, for, uh, for a real treat. I tell you what. So seismic activity. What is going to be happening in those three tiles that just spawned? What does it say it's going to do? Seismic activity. This tile will become a chasm at the start of the enemy turn. Okay. Beautiful. So that means that that unit is already going to go straight into the ground. It's no longer going to exist to us. Fantastic. So... What do we want to do here? I mean, this guy is going to be trying to hit me with long range. So, I mean, what's the point in that when I can just go ahead and just back on up, throw a shot at him, and it should be perfectly fine. Not fine just yet. Not fine just yet. We need to move here, punch this target. Beautiful. And now we can need to go ahead and hit this guy because now he's going to go ahead and actually, yeah, it should be fine. It, it'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and hit him. <laughs> beautiful just like that and oh that's right because it is a tile it's a shattered tile it also immediately gets rid of them oh that is beautiful that is fantastic and i still have my movement and shot with my cannon so to go ahead and make this even better just get rid of him now there we go and turn what an easy win what an easy dub there's no way that this can go wrong at all right there, there we have this in the bag nothing could go wrong this is going to be an easy win right what could possibly go wrong stop it get some help Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Um, <laughs> it is going to be making a chasm here. 
which is uh, a little concerning. So I need to back up, I suppose. Well, that makes me makes me wonder though, because that's me coming into a chasm, right? So they are going to have absolutely no way of getting to me if they have anything on the ground. So they better all be flying units. Otherwise, they are not going to be able to get anywhere towards us. Let's go ahead and hit this guy away from hitting our two cities. Easy enough. Let's use our artillery. Go ahead and hit this, this what do you call it? This blast scion in the distance. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and take my cannon and hit this blast scion in the distance as well. And that gains the ability to where all the Vec actually explode on death when that thing is still active. So let's go ahead and try to get that off the screen and end turn, make them all miss their shots. Beautiful, there's that chasm, no way over to me now. Accessing regional topography, updated canyon, added to database. <laughs> there's a new can There's a new canyon now, just go ahead and update that, why don't you? And he's coming back for seconds, you know what, fine, you know, more power to you. But hey, speak of the devil, look at that. There are two units that actually cannot reach us because there is now a chasm in between us all. That is fantastic. So the one flying unit that is still kind of in our way, get rid of this Vec immediately. Just blast him out of the way. Go ahead and move on back. Um, yeah, move on back. And I'm going to actually make this beetle land on top of this Vec spawning unit because that is going to go ahead and beautiful. That's going to stop that unit from spawning now. He's going to take one damage when he tries to come up and get on the map. It's not going to be able to do it. And he can take a little bit of damage. Beautiful. And on top of that, I actually don't even need to, I do need to take away that Alpha Hornet, don't I? Ooh, how do I want to solve this? I honestly don't know how I want to solve this situation, right? Because this Alpha Hornet is going to be doing two damage in a line. Is there any way that I can maybe like get around him? Is there any way that I can stop this from happening? Because he does it in a line. Right, so that has a shield. That's not going to be destroyed, but this is going to be destroyed. This one of these skyscrapers will. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on a second. Um, Reset turn. Reset turn. Reset turn. <laughs> you can only do this. What was that? Just had a moment of deja vu, like when you first arrived. Yep. You can only do that once per battle. Can you use the deja vu ability? So the problem is this Alpha Hornet, he flies. So even when this chasm spawns, it's not going to be a problem for him because there he can just fly above the ground, right? It's not going to be a concern. So what I think what I'm going to do instead, instead of trying to move back that beetle and all that fun stuff, right? Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this feck again still. That's going to be the same plan. But what I want to do is actually move back. And can I move my cannon guy? Yes, I can. I can move my cannon guy to any other location other than there, pretty much. And I'm going to go ahead and fire this off. And can I undo your move? No, 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 no. I want to undo my artillery's move so I can go ahead and move. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I have, it turns out I have actually managed to solve nothing. Hang on. We have this in the bag. Nothing could go wrong. This is going to be an easy win, right? What could possibly go wrong? All right. I have thought about this long and hard. And at the end of the day, I don't think there is any solution to actually winning this, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to just, I'm going to, I'm going to do it a Hail Mary. So the only thing I can really do here is push this guy up one more space and hope that it may be this building blocking his attack with the shield is going to maybe block it from hitting the coal plant. Things is, it's probably not going to protect it from the coal plant because at this point, the only thing that I can do now is to just, I, I can't do anything. I, I really cannot do anything. I No matter what I do here, it is going to be, I think it's going to be a loss. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I guess I'd throw an attack somewhere over here maybe i i'm this is a real hail mary is it gonna save the power plant is it gonna save the coal plant or is he just gonna be able to hit both is he is he yeah there goes the ground he's flying is it still gonna hit both with his attack come on please don't hit both please don't hit both it still hits both and there goes the power grid no <laughs> power grid collapsing you are tired there's no prove it there is nothing more here everything is gone the vec have invaded and that is game over Finally, what is this? Episode four, episode five of Into the Breach, and we have finally lost our very first run. That is unfortunate. One hour and 52 minutes, so nearly two hours of playing this game, and we have finally lost our very first run. But hey, it is not all over. Remember, because like I said, it is our very first run. So if we take a look at new game, 
what is it that we can go ahead and bring into these maps so island secure complete the first corporate island ramming speed kill an enemy five or more tiles away with a dash punch it is an achievement earned coins to unlock new mech squads oh drown three enemies in water in a single battle no achievements will unlock coins to unlock new mech squads very nice so do these things still have their upgrades if we go ahead and take a look at this i mean it doesn't look like it has the dash ability it doesn't look like they really have any of their upgrades from before but there is something important here our time traveler is back we do have our ralph carlson back beautiful so we do have our time travelers and did it say other squads change squad we have the rift walkers we got some other more earn more coins uh, locked earn more coins earn more coins earn more coins okay beautiful so you can actually go ahead and design oh wow there are a lot of different squads a secret squad for 25 coins there are a lot of squads and a lot of abilities and different kind of units here that they have available that is amazing view all achievements yeah there is a lot going on here well hey i tell you what why don't we go ahead and take a look is there anything else that we can do here because i know that it said that we can start on a new island now when we do these new runs right so we have our combat mechs we have our cannon mechs and we have our artillery mech and we have an island secure so if we go ahead and take a look at a new run what do we have we have also it was on normal mode it wasn't on easy it wasn't on hard it wasn't on unfair we did have pilot abilities to gain new pilot abilities there's advanced weapons and pilots recommended for anyone who has a good grasp of the court enable advanced weapons and pilots i mean that seems pretty good right i mean advanced weapons seems cool enabled advanced missions and bonus objectives uh enemy units advanced enemies i don't know about any of that but we are slowly building ourselves up so if we start a brand new run what is it that we're in store here for does it change anything about last time we should have more islands to spawn with here these corporate islands are the vex breeding ground wipe them out here to save the world you can attempt islands you've unlocked in any order vex difficulty will scale depending on how many islands you've completed this game nice very informative all right so we do still have our rst corporation we still have the archive archive incorporated island as well with dewey alms threat scanner and all the threat scanner down below tells you all the different types of enemies they might meet along the way as well as their leader very nice so hey if we go ahead and take a look back at rst corporation that's right we come right on back it was divided by asking you for help it was viewed as weakness but the choice is stark we either ally with you or lose the island that is uh that is a very straightforward outlook on things and as well it all looks very randomly generated look the rewards are not the same as they were prior in the previous run so how do well we just start off a little bit easy a little bit kind of simple let's do a you know i like this one seismic activity i like the idea of environmental abilities going on on the map and the battle with less than four mech damage and protect the coal plant doing it on the dust bowl why don't we go ahead and take a look exactly to see what this new run has in store for us so i think Honestly, it seems as though it is more or less the same as last time, but we have more learned, we have more know-how, we have more capabilities to our disposal. And in general, I think we're gonna be doing a much better chance this time around, knowing what it is that we, how, how to move our units around and how to use the reactor cores more to our advantage. So we do have the cataclysm effect going on, and that is immediately gonna be trying to take out my cannon here off this left-hand side. But as well, we do have our time travelers back in my Why? Why are you guys hating me so much? Holy crap. <laughs> leave them, leave my battle mech alone. Well, initially, right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and just punch you out of the way. Get me off of that. I don't want to be webbed up anymore. And that's going to stop an enemy from spawning. And that's going to kill him, which is exactly what I wanted. And to get rid of this hornet, um, I, 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 uh, well, <laughs> to get rid of this hornet, um, I think we're just going to have to take a damage immediately is, is the problem. Um, Hang on. Hang on a second. Uh, <laughs> am I already going to take a grid damage? Am I already going to? No, I'm not going to be able to. No, I'm not going to take a grid damage. Let's move this artillery here. Let's go ahead and blast him. Boom, right there. Does it damage to him? Move my cannon over here. Now do a damage to that Vec there. Beautiful. Now no one has to get hurt. No one is going to hurt you, my beautiful little battle mech baby boy. No one's going to touch you. It's okay. Digital Dave has you. Look at them. They're just attacking an empty chasm right now. They don't even know what they're doing. The Vec don't even know where they are. Yeah, take that guy out and stops the spawning. Beautiful. Now, this Vec does fly. So, the, cal the, the Cataclysm Seismic Activity is not going to affect him. So, he shouldn't have to worry too much about that. So, right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and actually move my cannon back a little bit and take a shot at this guy out in the distance because he's actually going to block this enemy from spawning now. I will take a damage, but honestly, it's whatever. I deal two damage to this guy. Yeah, I'm going to do two damage to him immediately. Take him out. No problem. And honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a shot at this, at this kind of like 
sand here because it does actually make a smoke screen allowing enemies to not be able to attack or repair while inside of it we'll see maybe if it affects their ability to spawn and turn we are going to take a damage here on our cannon but that's no problem to me that's fine it's only one knock the vac into the chasms you can tell the the, the fall will kill them what are they falling to exactly you, you see like the chasm but like what's at the bottom of the chasm like what's what's down there well how are I, I see nothing but just the void wait you're gonna be hitting the city oh hang on a second how am i gonna okay okay i have a solution for this i have a solution for this so you want me to knock enemies into the chasm right well why don't i actually i don't even need to knock you into the chasm i can just go ahead go ahead and hit you with my artillery in general bam take him out now they're both going for my main battle mech here which is a little bit of concern but not too bad i am probably gonna take one damage regardless but i'm gonna go ahead and push this guy directly into the water don't have to worry about that no more and i actually cannot get a hit on this flying hornet here at all from here because i can't shoot through my guy yeah no it doesn't doesn't do anything for him so i'm gonna go ahead and actually undo my move and i'll go ahead and put i'm gonna put the cannon mech. i'll just keep him right there this seems well enough and turn and let it go we'll take a damage that's perfectly fine he's got three health he'll survive towards the end of the battle yeah, take another damage. That's fine. Get out of here, you stupid little hornet. We don't care about you. Now, everyone does have one extra health because of that sign that has just spawned. But we do win next turn. So, honestly, at this point, all we got to do is make sure that we protect this territory. We need to protect the cities, if anything. So, in order to do that, this guy is going to be doing one damage, right? So, I can just simply move my mech here, punch this guy out of the way. And that would literally be more than enough to actually take care of him. But if I were to do one better hit the water oh my god hit the water hit the water with my artillery and they both fall into the chasm <laughs> they both fall into the chasm <laughs> and get rid of that scion he does float so it's not gonna get rid of him but i do get rid of those two guys and that should be victory right there he hits nothing and he's gonna run away yeah go tell your friends what i did to them yeah go tell them not to come back here we'll get them all next time those fleeing vec won't get far that's right honestly i've been loving this game i hope that you guys have been loving the game too if you guys have been loving the game please make sure to like the video comment down below and do all that fun stuff it really does help out the algorithm and i do love your guys' comments i love the feedback i want to know if you guys are enjoying it i want to know if you guys want to do see something like a specific run i want to give me feedback anything and everything but beautiful region secured deploying troops to hold the area before the weather shifts fantastic first region secured absolutely no problem at all so thank you digities i'm still excited about this game that's right we are gonna be doing another run probably gonna be doing like another four to five episodes on it type of situation and then i think we're gonna move on to another game past that because you know hey you can only take so much of the same game before people get a little bit of tired of it in general but i'm still having fun playing it Maybe even later on as I unlock more kind of units, more squads, more time trials, more things in the game as I play my leisurely, I will be making more episodes on it in the future, show you guys more content on it in general. But hey, I like bringing you guys along for the ride and in my first experiences with playing the game as well. So you can go ahead and learn along with me and experience it along with me as well. But hey, I'm still really bad at these outros because I always ramble on for God knows way too long. But if there's one thing I can't and will always guarantee you, then I'll be able to see you guys in the next video. Thank you. And bye-bye.